All right, y'all. Today I want to talk about how to find bounces when you're trading, when you're looking at the charts, using Market Cipher, understanding how to read it so you can tell when we're really going to get a bounce. I'm currently in this long position right now. It's up about 31% in profit. I just took some profits out. It's actually a really nice position. I'm quite happy with it. I wasn't sure at first if we were going to get such a good bounce. But what I did was two things. Number one, I did my analysis in the beginning. I came up with a plan. And number two, I trusted my indicators. I trusted my indicators. I stuck to the plan, and it worked out really well for me. And so what I want to do today is I just want to walk you through how I got into this trade. Now, this is a trade setup I've been waiting for. I've actually been waiting for it. Last night in the Discord here, um, we can see that I was posting some analysis where um, I was... I was looking at things saying things are starting to look pretty bullish, y'all. We have a hidden bullish divergence on the two hour time frame, and we're printing a regular bullish divergence on the one hour time frame. Now, this was actually a trade that I did enter. This bounce right here on the regular bullish divergence on the one hour, I did enter that scalp long, and um, that trade, you know, I did take some scalp longs yesterday. And um, let's see. Yeah, so that scalp long I took for Bitcoin last night was a pretty nice position, up 25%, and then eventually it did get stopped out in profit. But uh, coming back to here, I saw the things were starting to get bullish. And then last night, I had an idea. Just an idea, but basically I was saying, okay, look, we're getting a hidden bullish divergence on the two-hour time frame. And we're getting a regular bullish divergence on the one hour time frame, but things are still looking pretty bearish on the one hour time frame. It actually looks like we could get another move down here because money flow is coming down and getting thicker. And so my idea basically was if on the two hour time frame we start to print a hidden bullish divergence followed by a regular bullish divergence on the two hour time frame, I was going to look for a bounce out of this general zone right here. We had a golden pocket Fibonacci level. We also had a naked point of control right here. Okay, so I woke up at 5 in the morning, I set some limit orders in that golden pocket, and when I wake up, I'm going to take a pee in the toilet, I'm checking my phone while I'm peeing, and this is what I see. I see a bullish divergence on the two-hour time frame, and we're getting a bounce right out of the golden pocket. And so I, took, I actually did take that scalp, and that scalp was, um, it was a smaller scalp, it was a bounce about 9% in profit. I took out profits early. That trade then got stopped out in profit. But then I noticed something. I noticed, okay, look, I took a long from this golden pocket. We had the bullish divergence on the two hour, but the lower time frames were not actually giving us a divergence. If we come down to the six minute, for example, we can see that when we got the initial bounce right here, the six minute time frame on Market Cipher was not actually printing a bullish divergence. Instead, it was just giving us a bottom. Okay, it was just giving us a bottom. And if you see that we're getting a bounce, what is this? Hang on, hang on, guys. I don't want this color pen anymore. I want this color pen, New Juice. That's the name of this. If you see a bottom when we're getting a bounce, ideally, we want to see something like this. We want to see on the six minute a bullish divergence where price makes a lower low and then momentum makes a higher low. So I'm looking at this happen as I'm currently long and I'm saying, look guys, um, I'm long, I did long here, but on the lower time frames, we did not get a divergence. I'm looking for possibly something like this on the lower time frames. And so I was looking for something like this to happen where price would come down and on the six minute time frame, momentum would come up and that's where I was really looking to bounce and I knew we had this level of support down here under the golden pocket at this naked point of control now, a lot of people don't know what a naked point of control is let me just kind of tell you if you go into trading view and you open up this um, this indicator right here actually let me just show you um, okay right here open up the indicator uh, uh, Hang on. Yes, yeah, session volume HD. Open up session volume HD. And this will actually, if you could see, will turn go to the daily time frame. What this does is this is then going to give you the point of control for every previous day. Okay. And so we had down here, we can see if we zoom in on this daily candle, 
we had right here a point of control for the whole day. Basically, it's giving you a volume profile for every candle. You could see here, it's giving us a small little fixed range for every candle. And the white line is the highest volume node that was traded for that day. And if you ever see a volume, uh, a daily candle giving you a point of control, and price never comes back to touch it, that's called a naked point of control, which means there's a lot of liquidity in that area that can be grabbed if price comes down to tap that naked point of control. So we had this one right here, this naked point of control from August 20th, and you know, it's been August 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Finally on the 25th, we see we wicked down right to that area, and that's where we get our bounce from. So I'm analyzing the charts here saying, okay, look, we did get a bounce off the golden pocket, but the six minute time frame didn't diverge. So we still have this zone of support down here at the naked point of control. What I would want to see is another dip down to that level with higher momentum on the six minute to catch the bounce. And that's actually the trade that I did enter. In fact, when we came down to that level, we immediately did get a nice bounce off of it as we were printing the bullish divergence on the six minute now it was still printing but we could tell it was about to print right there and it was it was a little it was a little rough at first uh, my trade was in drawdown for a little bit but I trusted my indicators to stay in that position eventually I did take profit one and we did get a really nice bounce off of that level and then I did and gave some analysis for the day uh, by the way guys if you want to join this discord you can do that by going to patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper also, if you want to learn this stuff, if you don't know about support and resistance, how to find golden pockets, how to use volume, how to get all these kind of levels that I'm using to trade alongside Market Cipher, check out jasoncaspertrading.com because this course will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a more confident, more profitable trader. It's meant for people who are new. Even if you've never looked at a chart before, it will walk you through everything. This is changing the way thousands of people are approaching the markets, and people are actually commenting every day, emailing me, saying, thank you so much for this course. It's really helped me become profitable. Of course, this is not financial advice, but we go through all the technical analysis. We go through how I use Market Cipher in 10 sessions. Market Cipher is, in my opinion, the most powerful tool you can have um, to, to trade with, because there are so many things it does if you know how to read it properly it really can tell you when to get those good entries um, how to create and test your own strategy how to use risk management in order to even if you're not the best trader in the world and you lose the majority of your trades you can still be profitable over time if you have a good risk management strategy there's an eighty dollar discount right now in the description of this video you can get eighty dollars off um, which is a pretty nice discount, uh, especially for the amount of information I have in here. It's quite a lot. I've taken a lot of trading courses in my day, and I would have to say that for the price, this really gives you a lot of information. But anyway, uh, getting back to the charts here, I'll come back to the one-hour time frame. Um, why did why was I so confident to stay in this trade? Because a lot of people were getting super bearish as we were coming down to this level, saying, "Look, uh, things look super bearish." Well, first of all. I had already done my analysis and I had this plan and I stuck to it but second of all things were actually looking quite bullish right at least to get a bounce market structure is bearish we can see we're making lower lows and lower highs there's no question that market structure is bearish it's no, uh, you know I am currently uh, swing short on Bitcoin right I'm swing short on Bitcoin um, let me see yeah this is my short position uh, this is w when I took some profit uh, actually, that's my ETH short. Where's my Bitcoin short? Uh, this is my Bitcoin short. It's up much higher now, but I entered around... Um, now I can't find it now. I'm short from 49.9. So I'm short from up here, somewhere up here, uh, probably right around this, this high right here when we put in that lower high. I shorted from up here. But what I've been doing is I've been scalping these bounces on the way down. And you could tell clearly we're about to get a bounce. First of all, we had the hidden bullish divergence on the two hour a hidden bullish divergence is when price is making a higher low yet momentum is making a lower low and this is a continuation pattern if we're in an uptrend something like this is showing us we're actually going to continue in an uptrend and when you combine this with regular bullish divergences it can become very powerful that's how actually that's how I was able to catch this little bounce right here yesterday this little bounce right here last night and then currently the bounce that I'm in right now is because 
when you see these hidden divergences printing and you see the regular divergences printing, well, then, you know, there's a high probability that you're going to get a good bounce, especially if, especially if you're coming to a level of support, a key level of support. So yesterday, you know, we can see that we were actually coming to some key levels of support. If we pull out our good friend Fib, the old Fibinator, from the, the swing low to the swing high right here, uh, actually that's not the one I was looking at, yesterday actually took a long live on YouTube from here because we were bouncing out of this golden pocket. Then later on that night, um, I took another long from down here. We were bouncing off another level. It wasn't a golden pocket. And then, of course, you know, the long that I'm currently in, we were bouncing off of this golden pocket right here, and we had confluence with another level. So if you see your indications and you're coming down to a level, you can be pretty confident. Now, first we had the hidden divergence on the two-hour time frame, okay, right here hidden divergence, momentum is coming down as price is coming up. That's pretty bullish. Then look at this, we had a regular bullish divergence on the two hour time frame. Okay, even though money flow is coming down, we still have a regular bullish divergence on the two hour time frame. That is pretty powerful. Then you go down to the one hour time frame. What do you see? Bullish divergence on the one hour time frame. Then you go down to the 30 minute time frame. What do you see? bullish divergence on the 30 minute you go down to the 15 minute what do you see bullish divergence on the 15 minute then you even go down to the six minute and this is what actually got me into the trade and what do you see here on the six minute bullish divergence on the six minute and guys some of the most powerful divergences are going to be the ones where you have these big old bit boy green dots okay at both of the points if you can connect two lows on market cipher B that had these big bottoms that's usually going to give you a more powerful move than if you are just um, coming along with um, with just two waves next to each other so we had this big bullish divergence here and then the thing I was really looking for was what I like to call the uneven butt cheeks pattern right the uneven butt talks pattern where um, you could see on market cipher B we had a bigger bullish divergence printing, but then we had an even smaller bullish divergence printing right here. And, you know, we had the uneven butt cheeks, right? Uh, this is what happens when one of your glutes doesn't fire. You get the left butt cheek, and then the right butt cheek is much smaller. Uh, you probably need to go get some physical therapy or go to an orthopedic uh, physical therapist to fix your uneven butt cheek problem, but it does make for good bounces, okay? The uneven butt cheeks make for pretty good bounces. And um, so, Basically, what, what I'm saying here is, if you come up with a plan in advance, look at the price action, and you need to think to yourself, what would I like to see happen? What would I like to see happen? What is probable of happening, and what do I think if I see what I like to trade? So I, I came to these charts starting last night. I saw things were starting to look bullish. Okay. Then later on, I said, okay, I would like to see this happen. We didn't hit the golden pocket yet. I would like to see us hit that golden pocket for a bounce because golden pockets are very very reactive. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, what would I like to see? I would like to see a regular, I would like to see this hidden bullish divergence on the two hour followed by a regular bullish divergence on the two hour as we come into that golden pocket. And then when that actually did happen, I thought to myself, okay, I don't look quite like the way this looks on the lower time frames because I don't see the uneven buttocks on the six minute. All I see on the six minute is this big bottom here. And although it is an overall bigger bullish divergence, I, I was looking at the way things were starting to come back down. And I'm like, I really think we could get another low from here. Now, it doesn't mean I, what I didn't do was close out my long just when we started coming down. I actually stayed in this long from here. I took profits out moved the stop loss to the entry, price came back down, stopped me out in profit, entered the second long when I got my um, confirmations on market cipher B. And so basically what happened is I had a trade with a very small gain right here. Actually, this is my ETH long. I had a trade with a very small gain. Uh, I think I took out maybe like 25% of the long here. It was more than enough to cover the market fee of the stop loss. So it's a, it's a small gain. And now I have a very large gain. In fact, this is a substantial trade for me. And so I'm quite happy with it. So, you know, basically, um, 
the point of all this is is just to say if you have confidence in what market cipher is saying if you have confidence in your technical analysis if you have a trade plan that you think would work out really nice make sure to stick to the plan don't worry about what other people are saying you know trust your indicators uh, especially those those divergences on market cipher guys they do not lie they do not lie in fact i i cannot think of a time where i've seen a bullish divergence on the two hour even if money flow is coming down right i'm still bearish overall i'm still swing short i think we probably will come down lower but i've never seen divergences especially on the one and two hour where we don't get some kind of bounce right i mean look at this we had the divergence on the one hour boom we have the divergence again on the one hour boom we come up from there so yes bottom line guys uh come up with a plan trust your plan uh trust your indicators trust market cipher and you know some of the best trades i've made are the ones where i really have a good plan going into it and if you want to learn all this stuff guys check out jasoncaspertrading.com 80 dollar discount in the description may god bless all of you in the name of jesus yeshua the messiah the God of Israel, the God of the whole earth. And I do pray that all of you are blessed. And I do plan to go live later today to talk about some things about where I think price action could go and my plans moving forward. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all soon. Peace.